Blumhouse continues to expand, expand, expand. And now with a newly struck deal, we have the first of a new movie deal coming to MGM+. And that film is Unseen. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today we're going to be reviewing the new film, Unseen, which is going to be available on demand and digital March 7th, and then will be available on MGM Plus coming this May. Yup, May of 2023. Now listen, this is the first of eight original films in this new deal that Blumhouse Television and MGM Plus have uh, now put together. Um, and in this deal uh, with MGM uh, formerly of Epics now, uh, and this deal just recently happening in January. Yes, you can expect to see more Blumhouse uh, content. And yeah, they have the Hulu deal. Yeah, they have the Amazon deal. And it just seems like no matter where you go, you're going to see more and more Blumhouse productions, and which is good because I love it. Um, but yeah, this is the first of eight films, and this film is unseen, and we're going to talk about it. Now, the first thing with, with me in this film is that it was just, but for, it was just, but. But for so much, I can really be willing to suspend my disbelief on the events of this film. It just got at times. I was just like, "There's no way." Um, but overall, I I I I kind of warmed up to it. The the deeper and the deeper the film got, so it was a little rough for me in the beginning. But afterwards, I was like, "Okay." And and honestly, I think because the film is so different and and takes major risks in terms of the storytelling in this. I, I kind of was just like, you know what? A plus for unique t uniqueness and A for creativity for sure. Um, but and also I was I, I enjoyed the performances here. I mean, you have Midori Francis, uh, who you may know from Grey's Anatomy, and Jolene Purdy from Orange Is the New Black. Um, and the two of them, I mean, they're they're your leads here, and it's it's a it's a story that you know starts off with M Midori's character Emily. Uh, who's pretty much wakes up in a predicament of being kidnapped. She doesn't know where she's at. She can't see. She is truly blind, only to discover that it is her ex-boyfriend who is attempting to kill her because he can't have her. So, yes, the crazy ex-boyfriend thing. And while she tries to fight for her life and, and escape this predicament, she can't see because she doesn't have her glasses well, you have Sam, who is Jolene's character, who is just completely depressed, hates her job, which I'm sure people can relate to. Uh, some people can relate to. Um, and, and, and when things got really tough for her, um, she was ready to call the suicide prevention hotline. And she called the wrong number and ended up calling Emily, who Emily needed her help. She needed Sam to be her eye to help her escape the situation, which by this, Sam had to pretty much FaceTime Emily and, and navigate her through her escape. And it's like, you know, let's let's just call it what it is. Emily is trying to escape her boyfriend who is mildly, you know, I'll, I'll say mildly immobile. <laughs> he has his own setback, shall I say. I won't tell you too much. Um, but at the same time, he has more of an advantage of, of finding Emily than Emily has in trying to find her own safety but sam has to step in remotely and do the job for her and it's just a it's an impossible job but between this sam and emily do take time to get to know one another and they actually help each other um in ways that they didn't expect and they truly do um grow a bond and a friendship while all of this is happening and like at the same time too sam still has to operate her job which she's under a tremendous amount of stress and pressure with that she's working at this um, at this gas station and none of her customers are nice. Let's just call it at that. And, you know, she's in Florida. Uh, she's in Tallahassee, Florida. Um, Sam is, uh, Emily's maybe in Michigan and, 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 and Florida's floatering, you know, folks are coming in with guns and, and, and telling Sam that they need to do, she need to do her job and all this other stuff. And I already said she was depressed, but also she's also trying to save someone's life and no one is there to actually show any bit of empathy for that people want what they want and that's that um so there's some other situations that sam is dealing with at her at her job and yeah she's also 
<laughs> at a point uh have to uh her her life is in danger let's just put it that way um so w even with them being thousands of miles from each other uh you know they do try they, they do truly become friends and the story that's that's interesting about this is that like they both share similarity with the ideal of like running and escaping their past um and 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 not really having true guidance and support to do so and you know emily's fighting for her life sam is trying to install as much as she can and help her navigate and aid her through this abuse abuser that's after her but they're both are running and fighting traumas from their past at the same exact time and quickly i have to mention the director in yoko okamore uh, who you may know from directing uh, The Bow Type and a couple of my favorite episodes in this series, Good Trouble, one of my favorite series there. Uh, yes, I did love The Fosters, folks. I, I, I really feel her aesthetic and I can absolutely see why she would want to take on a film like this. Uh, one, just how vibrant the colors are, uh, the cinematography, which I'm sure she had a lot to do with the, the, the color layout and the mood, the mooding of this with the color toning and whatnot. Because when you look at the film, you kind of see like a style and aesthetic, like how she dressed. So it like, it makes sense. So uh, one thing is for sure is that the vibrant colors of this film is is very eye-catching um, and aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing. So, you know, I want to see more of Yoko directing for sure. So I like the story here. I like the, the bond that the two grow. Uh, and, and while it seems kind of super far-fetched here, I mean, I thought about it a lot. I said, man, this kind of feels like, you know, when you have your friend uh, on, on Xbox or PlayStation that you've never met, but like you feel compelled to, 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 to be there for them. And thus the situation is not as dire as this, but like it's still that bond that, the bond is believable. The situation is just kind of like, huh. Okay, I guess I can get with it. And that's why I say, like, at a point, it was but so much I was willing to suspend my disbelief. But after a while, I really grew, I, I really grew warm to it. I really loved the message. Um, there's other performances of very irate characters in this as well, too. Um, and, and I think that overall, with it being a unique story, like I said, A for effort, A for creativity, um, you just kind of just say, you know what? I'm not mad at this film. Yeah, it's a little wonky, but at the same time, it, it told a good message, and and I did enjoy just seeing uh, the the two ladies really be there for one another in this situation, especially when you have this abuser uh, who's after her uh, to no end, willing to kill her all for the sake of just craziness. I'll just say it that way. Um, and and with them being miles away, we just see that you know somebody's there for one another. And as I mentioned, Sam was having her depression issues, and and Emily was having. Her physical, the, the uh, domestic violence and and, and 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 abuse issues right here. So like, it's, it's it's both forms of trauma as the two of them are both trying to escape from them, but sort of found in peace in one another. And I I can get with that. So hey, you can check out Unseen Two Ways, folks, on demand in digital, March seventh, and then in a couple of months you can check it out on MGM Plus. Jump in the comments, folks. Let me know your thoughts about this when you check it out. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.